10 Things You Didn't Know About Louboutin. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 10 things you didn't know about Louboutin. Louboutins are probably the most famous shoes in the entire world. Who doesn't know that iconic red sole? The red bottoms have become status symbols and a pop culture icon. Louboutin sells over 1 million pairs of shoes a year in approximately 150 department stores and self-branded boutiques in over 35 countries. Whether you dream of owning one or if you have a closet full of Louboutins, you're gonna love this video. Here I'll show you 10 things you didn't know about Louboutin. And at the end of the video, there is a bonus fact about the most expensive Louboutin shoe ever sold. Because at the end of the day, happiness is the same price as red bottoms. So without further ado, here are 10 things you didn't know about Louboutin. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxficom. Number 10. Christian Louboutin has no formal training. Louboutin grew up in Paris. As he spent his time sketching shoes rather than studying, he was reportedly expelled from three schools. Although he is not formally trained, he attended Académie d'Art Rodere to study drawing and decorative arts. Louboutin says his fascination with shoes began in 1976, when he visited the National Museum of Art of Africa and Oceania. It was there that he saw a sign from Africa forbidding women wearing sharp stilettos from entering a building for fear of damage to the extensive wood flooring. This image stayed in his mind, and he later used the idea in his designs. Louboutin said, I wanted to defy that. I wanted to create something that broke rules and made women feel confident and empowered. Number 9. Louboutin interned with Roger Vivier. Having run away as a teenager to Egypt and India, Louboutin returned to Paris with a portfolio filled with sketches of fantastical hills. After approaching all of the major couture houses with his portfolio, Louboutin started his career at Charles Jordan, one of Paris and the world's most respected shoemakers. Subsequently, Louboutin met Roger Vivier, who claims to have invented the stiletto, and he became an apprentice in Vivier's atelier. Then he went on to serve as a freelance designer. Louboutin designed women's shoes for Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, and Maud Frison. Number 8. Louboutin opened his first store in 1992. Christian Louboutin opened his first store in Paris in 1992 with funds from two backers. His red sole shoes, handcrafted in Italy, were soon taken up by Hollywood actresses and Paris fashion establishment. The designer's professional goal has been to make a woman look sexy, beautiful, and to make her legs look as long as he can. His business quickly grew and became the global brand it is today. Number 7. Louboutin first shoes were inspired by Lady Diana. The very first shoes Christian Louboutin designed were inspired by Diana, Princess of Wales. Seeing the famous photo of the princess in front of the Taj Mahal, the legendary designer said, In the photo she was looking at her feet, and I thought she looked sad. It would be nice to have something to make her smile when she looked at her feet. And so Louboutin made suede flats with love written in his signature red. Number 6. Louboutin is a favorite among celebrities. When he opened his Paris shoe salon in 1992, Princess Caroline of Monaco was his first customer. She complimented the store one day when a fashion journalist was present, and the journalist's publication of the princess comment helped greatly to increase Louboutin's renown. Clients such as Diane von Furstenberg and Catherine Deneuve followed. Later, those interested in his stiletto heels have included Christina Aguilera, Joan Collins, Jennifer Lopez, Madonna, and many more. Sarah Jessica Parker wore a pair of shoes by Louboutin for her wedding and Britney Spears wore a pair of high-heeled Louboutins in her music video If You Seek Amy that were not available for sale until a month after the video was released. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Louboutin brought stilettos back in fashion. Roger Vivier invented the stiletto heel in 1953, but by the 1990s, the style was not so popular anymore. Louboutin helped bring stilettos back into fashion in the 1990s and 2000s, designing dozens of styles with heel heights of 120mm and higher. 
while he does offer some lower hued styles. Louboutin is generally associated with his dressier evening wear designs, incorporating jewel straps, bows, feathers, patent leather, red soles, and other similar decorative touches. And of course, he is most known for the red soles on his high heel shoes. Number 4. The History of the Red Soul Back in 1993, when he had been in business for about two years, Louboutin had thought of making a shoe inspired by Andy Warhol's flowers. The prototype, a pink stacked heel with a cartoonish cloth blossom, had arrived from Italy. Louboutin said, I was very happy because it was similar to the drawing, but the drawing still was stronger and I could not understand why. He continued, there was this big black soul, and then, thank god, there was this girl painting her nails at the time. Lubuta grabbed the red nail polish from the assistant and used to paint the soles of the prototype. Then it popped, he recalled, and I thought, this is the drawing. Funny how a business worth a global fortune gained its footing, so to speak, with something as teeny tiny as a bottle of nail polish, right? Isn't it amazing how those flashy soles really do make the shoes pop? Number 3. Louboutin sued Yves Saint Laurent for selling red soled shoes. The red sole is protected as a trademark in several countries, and litigation has taken place in various disputes, in which Louboutin claimed infringement of its rights. The most famous one was in 2011, when YSL started selling shoes with red soles. In September 2012, the court finally ruled that Louboutin retains the exclusive right to use the color red on the bottom of its shoes, whenever the outer portion of the shoe is any color besides red, while Yves Saint Laurent can continue to sell its shoes with red soles as long as the whole shoe is red. The YSL monochromatic shoe, over which the lawsuit originated, therefore didn't infringe the trademark, and Saint Laurent was allowed to continue to sell them. Number 2. The most famous Louboutin shoe when you think of a Louboutin shoe, chances are you are thinking of the Pigalle. Born in fall winter 2004, the famous shoe style is named after Louboutin's favorite neighborhood in Paris. The Pigalle features a short toe box, giving the illusion of an elongated arch, and has been done in various colors, letters, and heel heights. Louboutin said about his favorite rendition, to my mind, it reaches its maximum expression in black patent leather because of the red sole and the precision of the design. Sophisticated yet utterly sexy, Louboutin's Pigalle pumps are meant to be worn with everything, from a long evening gown to a pair of jeans. The Pigalle pump with 10 cm heels and black patent leather is sold for $745. Number 1. The Soul Kate is a redesign of the Pigalle. Adapted from the Pigalle style, Louboutin created the Soul Kate style for model Kate Moss. The story goes, while the designer was feeding Moss for her wedding, he reshaped the design of the Pigalle by lengthening the point of the toe and by making the heel thinner and higher, just for the model. One of the most iconic mainstays of all Louboutin designs, the Soul Kate is a classic pointy pump with a towering 12cm stiletto heel and low-cut vamp. Louboutin's Soul Kate come in an array of colors and patterns and could easily fit any personality. The Soul Kates are Carrie Bradshaw approved and are sold for $745. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which friends you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. The most expensive Louboutin shoe ever sold. In 2013, at a soda biz auction, which raised money for the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, this pair of Lubuta boots were sold for astonishing $50,000. The one-of-a-kind boots were donated by Christian Louboutin and were produced after the auction specifically for the buyer. Sotheby's estimated the boots would be sold at a price between $20,000 and $30,000, but a final price topped the high estimate for $20,000. The fact that the auction was for charity increased significantly the value of the shoe, but nevertheless, these are beautiful boots in the classic Louboutin red. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!